Hello students, uh, welcome to our channel. Uh, in this case, we want to invite you, you know, to subscribe to the channel so you can just get notifications in the future of our new videos we're going to be recording. Uh, in the exercise we're solving here, they say that there is a 20 kilograms loudspeaker, but it's suspended 2.0 meters below the ceiling. So basically, what they give us here, you know, is uh, this dimension. It is 2.0 meters, and it's the distance from the loudspeaker to the to the ceiling. Uh, they say also that it's suspended by three meters long cables, you know, that are just these cables over here. Uh huh. And uh, the angle outward at equal angles. So, what is the tension in each cable? So, we know that the angle of you know the cables. With respect to the ceiling, it's the same, and we're going, to call, we're going to call that angle angle zero. And also, you know, the angle uh, of each cable with respect to the vertical, that is an imaginary line that goes from the lowest speaker to the ceiling and perpendicular to the ceiling, is uh, the angle phi, and it's the same also for both cables. If I make a free body diagram, what we get here is a diagram like this one. Where we have the tensions and we have the force of gravity. So the first I'm gonna do in this exercise is to calculate the force of gravity. So I know that the force of gravity, that is basically the weight, you know, is equal mass uh, gravity and is equal to uh, 20 kilograms, that is the mass of the loudspeaker, times 9.8 meters per square second. So the force of gravity would be equal to 196 uh, newtons. Now we're gonna use the trigonometric uh, functions to calculate the angle phi. Uh, I know the angle, the side that is adjacent to angle phi there is this side over here, the side of 2 meters, I know the hypotenuse here, there is this side with 3 meters, so I can say that the cosine of the angle phi is equal to adjacent side over the hypotenuse, so it's equal to uh, 2 meters over 3 meters. So I can say that the angle phi is the cosine inverse, right, of 2 over 3. So um, the angle phi will be 48.2 degrees. Once I know the weight and I know the angle, now using the free body diagram, I will use or I will apply my equations of equilibrium. So I know this is in equilibrium, the sum of all the forces acting on the loudspeaker, you know, are equal to zero. So I can say that in this case, uh, the net force uh, in the direction of the x-axis, which is equal to the sum of the forces in x, right, uh, would be equal to zero. Now, which are the forces with x components? You can make a projection, and then you will have one component, t2 of x, or d2x here, of the tension 2, and you will have one component of force in the x direction for tension 1, t1x. So, taking the forces that are pointing toward the right as positive, I can say that T2x minus T1x is equal to zero. So, I can say that T2, what is T2x? T2x is T2 sine of the angle phi minus T1 sine of the angle phi is equal to zero. So I can say that T2 uh, sine of phi is equal to T1 sine of phi. 
So sine of phi cancel out, and you get that T2 is equal to T1. So now we know that the tension in both cables are the same. Now we're going to find the magnitude of the tension by using the sum of the forces in the y-axis. So I'm going to find then the net force in y, and we know that this net force in y what is equal to the sum of the forces in y is equal to zero, we'll be taking positive the forces pointing up, you know. So I'm going to say that in this case t1 cosine of phi plus t2 cosine of phi minus the force of gravity or the weight is equal to zero. Since we know you know that t1 is equal to t2, we can say that 2 t1 cosine of phi minus the force of gravity equals zero. So solving for t1, we can say that uh, t1 is equal to force of gravity over 2 cosine of phi. So it will be 196 newtons, you know, divided by 2 times the cosine of 48.2 degree. So when you just do the calculations, you will get that T1 is equal to 147 newtons. So since T2 is equal to T1, we can say that T2 or is equal to T1 is also equal to 147 newtons. Now, if you want to express this as a vector, you know, you can say that T2 uh, is, in this case, right, uh, 147 newton, and is uh, 48.2 degree. Uh, to the right of the positive y-axis or we can say also you know that T1 is 147 newtons and is 48.2 degree to the left of the positive y-axis and with this we have solved the problem so we found the tension in the cables. I really hope you know that these exercises I help you to understand this uh, topic and I invite you again to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for the attention.